The horror genre has long been a vehicle for society to cope with real-world events in an unreal way. In fact, quote, horror films succeed by frightening people, and collective fears are inextricably linked with social transitions and political influences, end quote. Through dealing with topics like the women's liberation movement and the Black Lives Matter movement, films like The Stepford Wives and Get Out have commented on and critiqued society's views on those issues. However, as technology and the way society ingests information evolves, so has the horror genre. Thought to have begun with Ruggiero Deodato's 1980 film Cannibal Holocaust, found footage horror described as, quote, a subgenre, a technique, an aesthetic, a hybridization, and a marketing gimmick, end quote, is characterized by films shot diegetically using various equipment found within the world of the film. As a result, the camera becomes part of the action and an extension of the characters, or perhaps even a character itself. Film critic Alexandra Heller Nicholas, quote, observes that the raw, unmediated quality of the filming imbues the content with a great sense of immediacy and immersion, end quote. The subgenre was popularized by the 1999 film The Blair Witch Project, which opened with a title card that read, quote, in October of 1994, three student filmmakers disappeared in the woods near Burkittsville, Maryland, while shooting a documentary. A year later, their footage was found, end quote. While horror movies have always worked because of their ability to frighten audiences, found footage horror movies take it a step further by suggesting that, quote, the images caught on camera have taken place in the audience's reality, and that, whilst the viewer may be detached from the threat geographically and temporally, they are ontologically commensurate with the events depicted, end quote. Critic John Kenneth Muir claims, quote, found footage works best when it transports you so successfully into another life that you begin to get a little panicky yourself like you were actually there and unsafe, end quote. Linny Blake's The Wounds of Nations argues that horror films are unique in their ability to, quote, reopen national wounds that have been suppressed, overlooked, or only superficially addressed, end quote. Found footage achieves this effect, quote, through the use of representational codes and aesthetics more typically associated with amateur and nonfiction media, end quote. Movies like Wreck and Cloverfield evoke historical trauma and contemporary disaster through their so-called 9-11 found footage style. Both Cannibal Holocaust and Blair Witch Project dealt with their characters investigating local legends and saw them, quote, probe forbidding aspects of their national history and national identity, end quote. The Tunnel, Cloverfield, and Troll Hunter are all films that are critical of the government's attempts to mislead the public in order to enforce its own agenda. The Tunnel, a 2011 Australian mockumentary film directed by Carlo Ledesma, emphasizes the misdeeds of Sydney's real past through an imagined present. In order to understand a government cover-up, current affairs journalist Natasha covers a story about the abandoned railway network beneath the city with her team. The film, quote, constitutes both a subterranean history of modern-day Sydney and a passage to repressed feelings of guilt surrounding the dispossession of people throughout Australian history, end quote. The characters learn about the government's disinterest in the missing homeless people, reflecting the historical mistreatment of indigenous Australians. As they move through the underground tunnels, they find an air raid shelter from World War II and empty homeless encampments. A monster follows them throughout the film, never fully seen by either the characters nor the camera, making the audience feel the same stakes. In fact, in a scene near the end, the monster attacks the characters as well as the camera itself, by extension, attacking the viewer. The 1980s in America saw a widespread embrace of political conservatism helmed by President Ronald Reagan. The so-called satanic panic was a byproduct of this, as over 12,000 unsubstantiated cases of satanic ritual abuse were quote-unquote remembered through questionable therapy practices. As a result, conservative Christians were terrified that the children of America could be brainwashed into deviousness, with a variety of culprits being thought of as possible catalysts. One of those targets was Halloween. WNUF Halloween Special, a 2013 film primarily directed by Chris LaMartina, establishes itself as a recording of a news station's Halloween special from 1987. In the hopes of gaining high viewership, reporter Frank Stewart plans to visit an abandoned house in which a brutal occult-based murder occurred years earlier. Frank and his team are met with pushback from religious protesters, claiming the harm of embracing and exploiting such a dark-sided event and that anyone participating in Halloween is doomed. Despite that, the broadcast continues, and Frank treats it as a novelty, going so far as to dismiss concerns of the paranormal investigators in the house with him, and even hire an actor to play a priest. 
Soon, however, mysterious things begin to happen, and the group begins to get killed off. Eventually, the religious zealots are revealed to be the perpetrators behind the night's horrible events, and the events of the night end as they cut out Frank Stewart's tongue in the ultimate act of censorship. As a result, the film shows the religious crusaders to be as bad as, if not worse than, the very thing they were fighting against. In the horrors of trauma and cinema, Julia Cohn, Michael Elm, and Kobe Kabalek write that film is capable of visualizing trauma because it can effectively depict, quote, irregularities and anachronisms and transport images that have been repressed or denied by the social body, end quote. As found footage horror has risen, it has more than proven that statement, as, quote, these found footage films visualize the excavation of uncharted, abandoned, and concealed spaces, as well as sites of oppression and past trauma through the lens of modern recording technologies, end quote.